वेलकम टू टेकी टॉकी हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट द लैम्डा फंक्शन इन पाइथन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड एक्सप्लेन्ड अबाउट फंक्शंस एंड हाउ इट कैन बी यूज्ड सो फंक्शन इन जनरल कैन बी यूज्ड टू प्रोसेस अ कॉम्प्लेक्स लॉजिक दैट कंटेन्स मल्टीपल लाइंस ऑफ कोड आई मे और मे नॉट रिटर्न वैल्यूज टू द कॉलिंग स्टेटमेंट which means we can also make the result get printed in the output window using a function consider the scenario where we have only one expression and the same expression need to be reused at multiple places so in those cases i can use the lambda function the lambda function is an anonymous function and the way to define it is by using the lambda keyword and this lambda function will accept one or more input arguments but it can have only one expression and the lambda function returns the result let me show you the python code on how to use the lambda function consider the simple example where i'm going to create a lambda function containing a string hi there the syntax to use the lambda function is a variable name equal to lambda colon and then whatever expression or the string that we want to give can be given there and i need to use this name to call the lambda function so here i'm giving print message so when i execute this code i can see that hi there gets printed so this is a very basic example on how to use a lambda function this lambda function is anonymous meaning it does not have a name and it will have only one expression and also it returns the result to the calling statement consider this example where i am using a lambda function to get the square of a number so here i am using one parameter so i am giving message equal to lambda a colon a into a so whatever value comes here and whatever get assigned to this variable a that into the same value will be returned to the calling statement first i'm getting the user input on a value so i'm using this input function and since this input is going to return a string object i'm converting it to integer and i'm storing it in the variable val next i'm finding the square of the value so for that i'm printing a message square of the value is and then i'm calling this lambda function by passing the value this value get assigned to a in the lambda function and then the same value will be multiplied by the same number so now let's execute this code and i'm going to enter a value as 5 and the output of this is square of the value is 25 so the val is first going to hold the value of 5 and then this val is sent to this lambda function so a is going to be 5 and this lambda function is going to process a into a which is 5 into 5 25 and that 25 is returned to the calling function which gets printed in the output window this is my other example where i'm going to use this lambda function in multiple statements the lambda function that i'm going to use here is what is your favorite followed by a string value and that value will be stored inside the variable a so this is calling the lambda function value by passing the value as food so a is going to hold the value of food and the message is going to be what is your favorite food so that is the question that appears on the output window and whatever value the user inputs is going to be stored in the variable food similarly i'm going to get the input value of color and number and after getting the input value from the user i'm going to print a statement that glad to know about you your favorites are whatever food the user has given the color and the respective number now let's execute this code and see how the lambda function works first it says what is your favorite food let me say pizza next i'm calling the same lambda function by passing the value as color so what is your favorite color gets printed in the output window and i am saying red next the control comes to the next line 
where it is calling the same lambda function by passing the value as number. So what is your favorite number gets printed in the output window where I'm giving 5. Finally, I have a print message here which says, glad to know about you. Your favorites are pizza, bread and 5. This is how we can use the same lambda function in multiple statements in the Python code. This lambda function can accept multiple arguments also. Now let me modify this code such that this lambda function is going to accept the name as well and it is going to print the name in each and every statement in the output window. Here I have given so value equal to lambda of favorite comma name and the expression is going to be hey followed by name whatever name the user is going to give what is your favorite and then the value that we are going to pass in this lambda function. Let me execute this code in parallel to make you understand it better on how the lambda works. First the control comes to the first line where it is asking please enter your name. I'll say Becky Toppy. Next the control comes to the next line where it says input of the value of foot comma name. So foot is going to be the string and name is whatever we have received in the previous line. So this lambda function is called and this variable is going to hold the value foot and this name is going to hold the value tiki -taki. What is getting printed here? Hey tiki -taki, what is your favorite food? I'll say pizza. Next, the control comes to the next line which is on the color. I'm calling the lambda function by passing the string color along with the name. This expression is getting printed in the output window. Hey, takey talkie, what is your favorite color? I'll give red. The same applies for number as well. I'll give five. And in my print message, I have glad to know about you followed by the name. Takey talkie. Your favorites are food, color and number. Hey guys. Hope you now understood what lambda function is all about and how to use them in our Python program. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can reach out to me at techytalkie at gmail.com. Happy learning and have a great day.